The rackets are talking, and the tennis world is abuzz. So many championships are keeping fans entertained. And with the upcoming Wimbledon as the crown jewel, players are acing through various competitions to earn a dazzling reputation for the tennis mega title. Recently, the Berlin Open crowned its new champion. The fierce owns Jabour. Jabour won the title after her opponent had an unfortunate injury. So let's unpack the 2022 Berlin Open final. To begin with, what went down in the final? The Berlin Open final saw an epic clash between Tunisia's owns Jabour and the Swiss player Belinda Bensik. Keeping in mind that Belinda was a force to reckon with in her best health. She won her country a gold medal in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Taking the other side of the court, Owns is a brilliantly shining star, smashing through the WTA ranking, but will fangirl a little later. This match had a fiery start with both players in it to win it, and gained an early upper hand with her 3-0 lead. Not letting her prevail that easily, the Swiss star got back on track with a 4-3 game lead. Following that, Jabour was all skills and savvy. She clinched her lead back with a 5-3. The Olympian needed four points to get back up, but luck wasn't luck. On the fourth deuce, she had a nasty fall. The whole crowd went, ooh, and as it looked super painful. At last, the pain became too much, and Bensik dropped to the grass court, signaling retirement. That made Ons Jabur the Berlin Open top seed with her third ever career title. You'd think that she'd be celebrating, but her sportsmanship, or should we say sportswomanship, was through the roof. The Tunisian player earned the respect of the entire tennis world when she rushed to her opponent's care. Even before the medical arrived, she brought an ice cooler for Bensik to rest her feet in. So, fellas, no one lost that day. They both both won. Owns earned not only the championship, but also many hearts. So how did Belinda get injured? Injuries are super common in the tennis world, or any sports. But certain things can be a factor in the Swiss player's case. She had an exhausting week. Her previous four matches in the championship were back-to-back -back three sets. That's bound to make a person tired, right? Her semifinal opponent, Maria Sakari, was a tough cookie to beat. The match went on for three hours. On average, a match lasts 90 minutes. This double time can tell you how intense the game was. Ultimately, Belinda pulled through and landed in the final finals to face Owns. As the final began, you could see hints of exhaustion seeping through. Maybe the fatigue caught up, and she slipped in the first set while chasing a wide serve. This made her fall over her feet, hurting her left ankle. The contestant went for a medical break and got treated for it. Then the tough as nails player returned, but she was in pain. Her defense wasn't strong enough, and the injury was bothersome. It's difficult to work hard and arrive at the final, yet an injury takes you far away from success. However, we know the Olympian will be back on her feet soon, ready to amaze us once more. Praying for your quick recovery, superstar. Next up, let's revisit Jabour Bensik history. Diving into the exciting history of this duo, the final wasn't their first face-off. Previously, they played three games against each other. Two of them were played this year. The Credit One Charleston Open pitted the two players against each other in early April. Belinda emerged victorious, so she had an early lead. However, Owens had revenge on her mind when they met again. Madrid Open 2022 in late April provided her the opportunity to redeem herself. She beat the Swiss fellow en route to the final, while Bensik won the Charleston Open. The Madrid Open went to Jabour. Hence, this year they both had tied. Last year's victory of the Swiss player over the Tunisian became the deciding factor. So a quick recap before the Berlin Open 2022. Bensik had the upper hand with 2-1. Now the playing field is leveled. Their next match should be an interesting one. Wait, one thing. The history of those tennis warriors makes them seem like such enemies, right? But they're actually really good friends. Upon winning the Berlin title, Jabour was all concerned about her friend and humble about her win. Her friend Bensik, on the other hand, gave her the limelight saying Owns deserves the victory and she didn't want to take her moment away. Women lifting women. We love to see it. Coming up next, Owns Jabour the new rising star. Owens Jabour has been a trailblazer this WTA season. Hear this. She only lost one set during the Berlin Open and raced her way to the trophy. To add more, she wrote her name in the history books as the first Arab woman to win a singles title. She's definitely making her peninsula proud. Adding her Madrid and Berlin titles, she's the second tennis player after Iga Swantek, who has won multiple titles in this 2022 season. If you're wondering where WTA number one Iga was in the Berlin Open, she opted out. The reason? Shoulder injury. Swantek would have given Jabour a tough competition if she was in it. However, she's gaining her strengths to compete in the Clash of the Titans, Wimbledon. That takes precedence, no? Anyway, her recurrent victories have put the Tunisian at a career-best number two ranking. What's more, it even got her a partnership with the Serena Williams. To make it more special, it's Serena's comeback after a year's retirement, so all eyes are on the Jabour Williams duo and Eastbourne doubles. In other related news, Jabour and Serena team up. Speaking of the team up, Owns was over the moon to play with her role model. She's on excellent terms with elder Williams' sister, Venus, so perhaps she put in a good word. Additionally, her fantastic performance this season didn't hurt either. The two began the Rossi International Eastbourne Tournament with a victory, and just like that, Serena was back, baby. Last year, an injury caused her to take a whole year off. Critics and fans alike were concerned it was a farewell, and we might not see the star on the court. However, the icon still had more serves left to show us. With Jabour taking half the court, Williams could breathe easier. The pair put on a good show in Serena's comeback match. Afterward, the legendary player was all praises for Owns, saying she loves her game. Dubbed Owns-Rena, they reached all the way to the semifinal, 
where unfortunately they had to exit. Before the match, Owens injured her right knee, and they couldn't face Magda Lynette and Alexandra Krunsik in the game. While it was an anticlimactic end, both headed on to Wimbledon, where Serena played her first singles match after last year's injury to her hamstring. Both competed in singles, so we could have seen a face-off. Now that would have been electrifying. Following with AI induction in tennis. AI may be the trendiest tech in the world these days. This highly sought-out system has been leaving its mark in various fields. Now it has arrived on the tennis courts as well. We've heard through the grapevine that it's been revolutionizing this sport. Call it the Sports Siri. AI can spot play patterns and find out how players can score points. Coaches are already knee-deep in improving their performance thanks to AI. Even Novak Djokovic's former coach says the insight made him realize how wrongly his players were practicing. But does AI bring an unfair advantage? Many people think so. When technology overwhelms a sport, the human effort would significantly take a back seat. No one is ready for that. Refuting that, the French Federation Information Officer, Jerome Meltz, says it'll be just a tool. The human element and skill bring real drama. While technology brings play improvement, it could never bring a human's thrilling performance. That's the essence of tennis, and if that's what everyone is trying to preserve, then we're game. And finally, stars are lining up for Wimbledon final rounds. The Grand Slam has been shortlisting its finalists, and we have the names of the participants much to many fans' dismay. Serena was defeated in the earlier stages. However, the previous doubles partner is in a no-stopping mood. Ons Jabeur has arrived at the singles semifinal. It will be her first close encounter with the Grand Slam. She'll be facing her German BBQ buddy, Tatiana Maria. On the other semifinal court, Elena Rabakina and Simona Halep will go head-to-head. -head. Let's see who'll land in the finals green court. Hear this. Owens is the one player in the WTA Top 15 ranks who's moved to final rounds. In men's single, the defending champ Novak Djokovic has confirmed his seat at the semifinal. He'll be butting heads with the British Cameron Nori. Another icon, Rafael Nadal, is still in the quarterfinal stages. Will we see the mega players in the finals? Let's see the play unfold and find out together. That's a wrap on today's video. What did you think of the Berlin's Open's final match? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more news in the tennis world. See you in the next one.